It be your boy, that boy, 305 New, checking in, man. I did a video today, but somehow that everything was tripping like I told you guys. And I'm definitely going to get a new phone tomorrow, life lasts. Definitely one for the KOB. The Kobe. I was just sitting here, man, chilling, thinking about life and how things are, man. It's so rough for the, you know, the minority, man. So fucked up. It's so set up, bro. Easy for us to fail, man. Easy for us to crumble. But, you know, you got to stay strong. You got to stay in the paint. got to trust Allah. got to trust God, man. You know what I mean? But, you know, you guys ain't going to hold it. I, don't, I just want to talk about Kobe, man. At the top of the day, Kobe Bryant was for the people, man. I was just listening to an interview, you know, any Laker fans I know, anybody who know basketball. I just listened to an interview from World Peace, Ron Artez. And him and Kobe Bryant, I think they won a championship in 2010 together. And, um, buddy, out of all the interviews I've been listening to, a lot of people saying, you know, having interviews about Kobe. Here's the most sincere, and it was only 10 minutes, bro. You can see the fire. You can see the pain. You can see the hurt in his eyes. And I was watching that little thing early about him, man. He was a, he was he, he dog. He mastered the game, bro. He was a teacher and the player. That's what Le, that's what LeBron tried to get that teaching the players and how to do this and how to do that. He get that from Kobe Bryant, bro. I think LeBron wanted to be Kobe. I don't think LeBron wanted to be Jordan, but they never compared him to Kobe. They always said Jordan. They always wanted everybody else to be Jordan. You know what I'm saying? But me personally, bro, I think Kobe Bryant, man, is one of the. I think he was better than Jordan. One ring short. You know what I'm saying? The boy did everything right, man. If Kobe Bryant would have had the injuries and the, you know, I think and them switching up the team, I think Kobe would have got maybe more seven rings. You know, he lost two. You know what I'm saying? So he really, he could have had seven, eight rings easy, bro. But, you know, I just think, you know, a lot of things came in between that bigger than rap. But Kobe was a a blessing, man. I don't care what people say about what he think he sold his soul. and I don't give a damn, man. We all make mistakes. We all could ask for forgiveness, bro. That little beautiful queen, Gigi, and my, and my brother, my king. It's sad, bro. We lost a brother, man. And the way our Ron Artez was speaking it about Kobe, man, what he taught him, he said he taught him how to, you know, stay out of trouble. You know, he always was a hothead on the court. And, you know, um, told him, to, you know, relax, man. We're going to get a championship, just chill, just ball. You know, Ron Artez was like our version of Dennis Rodman. This, you know, the younger era, younger Dennis Rodman. Very tough, you know, going to fight for it, going, you know, sacrifice the body, you know, even went in the stands and fought people, you know, back in the days. He was I always thought he was a little cuckoo. But I respect world peace, man. But he made me cry again, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it was sincere what he was speaking about, Kobe. And he said every now and then he update Kobe, you know what I'm saying, what he was doing. Kobe would call him and say, how you doing? What you doing? Oh, world peace. He say he'd be like, you know. Am I right? just, you know, you know, you know, trying to make it, you know, I guess. And he was doing what he was doing. But, uh, excuse me. I mean, it's just sad that what they did to him. It's just sad what, you know, and check out they all uh, documentaries too, man. Kobe and World Peace, good documentaries, man. I had like 20 minutes at Kobe, but I didn't get a chance to finish. I'm going to finish on a better day. But I just wanted to say, man, you know, so many things happen in this world and people don't want you to believe in conspiracies. And this world is full of conspiracies and things of that nature. Uh, but this celebrity, it hurts just like Michael Jackson, bro, and Tupac. These are, even Nipsey Hussle, bro. I mean, Nipsey was great, too. But what Nipsey stood for, man, you got to, I had to share a few tips for Nipsey too, man. 
Michael Jackson and Tupac. And I think Tupac got away. That's just my opinion. But uh, Kobe and Michael, man, and Pop, them is them the most. But this hit, this hit, this hit home, bro. This shit hurt, bro. Kobe Bryant was a people's, you know what I'm saying? He was a people champ. He was for the people, bro. He helped Ron Artez. He was teaching everybody to play the game. He was selfish, bro. He was selfish when it came down to winning because he wanted to win for him and win for the team. But he was never, you know, selfish with people. He was kind of antisocial. I got to look up his sign. I forgot. I don't know his sign. But Kobe Bryant was a good guy, man. He was a people's champ, and he was a people's person. He loved it all colors. He was not racist. This is a guy that you could tell your kid about. This is a guy that you could sit down with your kids and watch a game, an old game, a Laker game. And he got educational things right there in that game, bro. So imagine off the court, another five years of Kobe, man, living here and just being Kobe. We would benefit from a lot of it, though. But sometimes I hate when a person die. That's when we see everything. You know what I'm saying? We regret and we wish we would have, you know, tuned in. But we was a part of him. It's just when he left the game, you know, he have a real life after that. It's like, you know, we can't see Kobe. I was glad to see him at the Philly game. I was glad to see him a lot of times at the games. And just gave me a feeling. And it had a rumor like, uh... About the uh, what that is the big the big three that he was gonna play maybe this year or next year in the big three league and I was like boy I can't wait for that one and I know his daughter probably Gigi God bless you my my, my queen little queen God bless you I know she probably wanted him to you know daddy play play man daddy play you know the big three because he was away from the game for a while and he said his daughter had just got him back into it about ten months now man. And, um, you know, real soldiers cry, man. But, you know, I, I, I feel bad for my brother, man. He's a good guy, bro. It's just, I want to just come back and say that, you know, Kobe was for the people, man. And just for him to get the standing ovation and the love and the flowers and the bouquet. Just so many different things that is going on in front of that Staples Center, man. It's full of love, bro. Full of love. I just want to come back to you guys, man. It hurts me, bro. That I lost one of my idols. I love the Kobe. As a player and a person. You know what I'm saying? I always seen that fight in that guy's eyes the way he played the game, man. I remember I lost some money against him. Uh -huh. Probably like maybe 10 years ago. I long he been retired? Yeah, I say about seven, eight years ago. I was on Miami Beach. I never forget South Beach. And I bet my friend got about three hundred. You know, he was all right with me. Not really, you know, he was cool with me though. But you know, it was a gamble. And uh, I say, well, we got the game, but we got the game. And Kobe pulled up, man, from the three point line, bro. You hear me? I'm talking about from yonder. Pulled up from the, I'm talking about the three point, probably in the middle of the side, like a little bit of the, not the deep, like a quarter of the, you know, quarter of the middle. And man, he took that shot. Dagger. He did like this. I said, he said boy, let me get that money, boy. Da, 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 da. I'm like, what, bro? He, he, he hit that. And I was like, whoa, you know, because I'm a diehard Heat fan. I was like, no, man, no. You know, I always will go with Kobe. But by that being my team, I didn't want to go against the grain. We had a great Dwayne Wade. Wow, bro, I'm talking about that guy was that guy, man. He lifted up, man, and faded away, man. And that shit went straight in bucket. I was like, that's that guy. I should have never went against him. I should have just not never bet it. Just... Kept it as friendly, you know what I'm saying? Because who? You don't want to go against your idol, a guy you like, you know, but you know it's your team, but you know you got Wade too, but Wade didn't have no, nothing on, you know, Kobe at that time. Kobe's like, you know, always, already in his prime, 
you know, the master the game, man. Because I won a lot of money off Kobe, too, man. You know what I'm saying? I was incarcerated years ago. You know, when he first came in the league, man, I was young, too, you know. And I just heard about Kobe being Bryant, man. I put the house on that guy, bro, you know. But I just wanted to come back and holler at you guys about that. Shout out to all my subscribers, man. My phone's working a little better, but I'm going to upgrade tomorrow. I need something with like 64 gears so I can really get busy. Um, but, excuse me, y'all, you know, sharing a little tears, man. But Ron Artez, man, he brought me back to crying, bro, because how he, you know, he was sincere just a little while ago. I was checking it out. And what he said, he said Kobe was a teacher, man. He always teaching people and showing people the ropes and making it easier upon people, man. And um, this is one part I get in and let you guys go. Uh, he say they lost against Boston or something like that. Yeah, Boston. So he say he was going to the locker room. You know, Kobe going to the locker room. He say he asked, I think, a couple pip. Yeah, you know, a couple people like what Kobe. They said, oh, he's in the locker room there. Somebody, yeah, he went there. And, you know, I guess, you know, Ron Artez was on the way out. He had to go or something. So, you know, he always doing something kind of, you know, crazy. But I love Ron Artez. I love all my brothers and kings. But anyway, uh, make a long story short, Ron Artez, so he went to the, so, you know, he said, oh, he went in there. They was like, oh, he in the shower. So he said he went and knocked on the door. And Kobe was like, man, what you doing here, man? What you doing in the shower? Like, what you doing here? He like, nah, man, I just wanted to tell you, man, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know, sorry about our loss, man, you know, you know, we'll get him, you will get him, we'll get him. He's like, yeah, man, for sure, all right. <laughs> but the whole concept with me was like, you know, he, he said, Kobe was like, man, what you doing in the shower? Like, what? <laughs> I'm trying to shower, you know. But that was Kobe, man, KB, man. We will not miss that guy. Damn, bro. Sad story, bro. GG. Feel sorry for Vanessa and the other three kids, man. I got a daughter, bro. I know how it go, man. It's rough, bro. Sometimes this world, man, it just takes a lot out of you, man. That's why you got to have the armor of God with you, man, to stay focused and stay on the grind, man. I just want to talk to you guys, man. You know, shout out to all my new subscribers, man. Kobe was for the people. That's the top of it is Kobe was for the people. He taught the game. He spoke five different languages, maybe six. Italian, Spanish. I think a lot of people were jealous of Kobe Bryant, bro. I just really think that. I think they were jealous of him because he's going to master everything he do. He put a lot of effort into it. It was always win with Kobe. It was never giving up. So that's the type of person we lost, man. But going to a better place, man. No more stress, no more drama, no more hatred. Only thing the kids going to miss him, you know. And we going to miss him as well because he was a great father, great husband, great player on the court, great player off the court. Inspiration, man. To be a boy, that boy, man. 305. News, man. Y'all be easy, man. Salute, man. Shout out, man. Much love. Yeah.